One mission, two goals, three points. It was the Rangers' way in Paisley. But speaking of 3 2 1, I think that could sum up a lot of the performances on the pitch. It was a mediocre display from the majority of the players in blue. They got over the line, but just about. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. It's time for the St. Mirren versus Rangers player ratings. It wasn't a great game in terms of quality, but it was an exciting game nonetheless, and we did not know what way it was going to end right up until the final whistle. No, we didn't. So let's dive straight into the player ratings. There's not a lot to uh, talk about here. I mean, it was a poor game, just like the Celtic Dundee one. You may, uh, you may as well combine all four of these teams into one, because it was shite. Shite. Anyway, right, speaking of shite, let's talk about Hemming, because I think he was responsible for both goals, or at least he played a hand in the second goal. Definitely responsible for the first. Uh, not a good display. He made some decent saves, I think, in the first half, but there were long shot saves you'd expect him to make. Yeah, I, I'm going to give Hemming a four. He co I think he's costing me in the day. I'm going to give him a three, so a 3.5. I do believe that he was responsible, right? Butlin for Rangers, I thought he had a pretty good display. Yeah, he conceded a goal, nothing he could really do about it. The, the header was right in at the near post, it clipped the post and went in. I think Butlin made some really good saves, and I do think he was the difference between Rangers winning this game and dropping points today. So I'm going to give Butlin a 7. I think he was probably their best player. I'm going to give him a 9. And that whole oh, shit a 9. There you go, Jack Butlin then comes in at an 8. Right, up next, Ryan Strait. Thought he'd done okay. Didn't do much more than okay for me, but okay is okay. I'll I'm, give him a 6. I'm giving him a 6 as well. James Tavernier, very quiet. Had a shot first half. It was saved by Hemming. Didn't really offer much. Second half when Rangers were looking for that winner, that looking for that goal to go ahead. Like you just expect stuff to come from James Tavernier, and today that didn't really happen. It didn't really happen, but he did create the assist for Tessers' second goal there. So I think for that alone, I thought it was the St. Mirren defence that created it the assist. Was, like, but I'll uh, give Tav a five. He, uh, he did something. I'll stick with a five. It wasn't his best display though. Uh, Tanza. I thought he was all right, big uh, big Tanzer. I'll, I'll give him a six. Six. Um, I also gave him a six. Balogun. I thought he was. I think Balogun's the, the best. He is, he's the he best centre back Rangers have. He was at fault for the goal though. So I'll give him a. I'm going to give him a seven. I would give him an eight if he didn't. But I'm going to give him a seven. I'm giving him a six. Six point five. There's so much a difference. Here. Six. I said there's no need for a. Ooh. Right, right, Fraser. Fought some Fraser. Yeah, I think that was it. I think he was the weakest St. Mirren centre back, so I'm going to give him. I'm going to give him a four. Four. I'm going to give him a five. So it's a it's a four point five. Up next we have Big John Sewer. And what's your thoughts on him? Is that the new partnership going forward, Balogun and Sewer? Yeah, I think Sewer was. He was better than what he has been recently. I think it's the new partnership. I'll give Sutter a six out of ten. Oh, I'll, I'll give him a six as well. I don't think he done anything wrong today. I think he was great. Right, Godzik for me, best player on a St. Mirren shark. Uh, he, he got forward. He had Dessels pretty much in his pocket the entire game. He made that great goal clearance uh, at the end of the match to keep St. Mirren in it when it looked like they were about to go 3-1 behind. For me, Godzik, uh, definitely the best St. Mirren player. Arguably, man of the match as well. I'm going to give him an 8. Oh, yeah, I'm going to give him an 8. It's fair for me, for the big man. Very good. He might not, you know what? He might not be the most skillful player, but he's got passion and he, you know, he fucking he tries. There's no doubt about it. He, ah, play, you can't, he you plays can't, for the shirt. You, you can't know, deny he, it. He always gives a hundred percent. Speaking of giving a hundred percent, Barisic uh, doesn't. Might have a wee injury ahead of this Celtic game. That's good. That's brilliant. That's fantastic. Shite bag. He always does it. I'm going to give him a three. I thought he was pants. Didn't think he was great today. I'll, I'll give him a, a four. I think three point five then for for wee Barisic. Uh, Bolton. Responsible maybe for the first goal, it was an own goal, but I mean he could have done better. I think though he he did get the goal, the St Mirren goal, didn't he? No, he, he got the he almost he should have got the St Mirren goal, the the second one that they didn't get. Aye, the one that um great <laughs> save for Bolton. Jack Bolton made a great save from. I think Bolton done all right minus the mistake, but he did make. A it wasn't bit. much of a mistake, man. It was under pressure, you know. So I'm giving him a five. I'll give him a five as well. Right, uh, Dio Mandy. Thought he was pretty poor. Gave the ball away a lot. Really? Ah, I didn't rate his performance. Mm, I thought he was probably the best player in the midfield. I'll give him a six. I'm going to give him a five. So, I don't know, for me, didn't do much. But Rangers midfield. A lot of people are saying it was Butland, Diamonde and nine Mongos, did they? So you think Diamonde's the 10th Mongo then? Who is the Mongo? 
Butler and Diamonde, and there was nine of the other Mongols. I thought Des was better than Diamonde. Fair enough. Right, uh, O'Hara, quiet game. Quiet game, yeah. Um, I like it quiet. Not as quiet as O'Hara likes like, it, though. No, no I'm, I'm a Mark O'Hara fan, but I wasn't impressed today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him a five. Yeah, I, I'm going to give him a five as well. Quiet. I like it quiet. John Lundstrom didn't do much for me. I think he's pish. I'm, I'm going to give Lundstrom a four. It was a, a poor performance today for I'm him. I'm going to give him a four. I don't know what the gimmick is, by the way, with shooting, because he, he, he fucking has these long shots every five seconds, and none of them goes in. So just stop doing it, John. All right, John. Boyd Mince, or could we call him Boyd Mince? I thought he was all right. I'll give him a five. <laughs> five for me. Uh, Cantwell, you know what? I don't know what I'm going to give him, but when I come up with my, my rating, I'm going to take one off it for that fucking incident with the referee. So, Nick Walsh, you can come up with... I'm going to give him a five. I thought he was pretty, quite poor. Well, he? he's getting a four for me, 4.5. Uh, just that, that incident with the ref... See when two players collide, right, and the referee gets straight back up and the players are rolling about in the deck for a minute like it's embarrassing. No, it is. You can't spin that. It is embarrassing. Mandron um, got the goal. Great finish. Could not have placed it any better. I'm going to give him seven. I thought he was St Mirren's best attacker today. Yeah, great finish for the goal. I'll also give him a seven. Fair play. Uh, Sterling, I thought it was one of his more quieter games. It was. I'll give him a six. I thought he was still... All right, though. He was, but I mean, I just, I don't know, I can't expect more for Sterling these days. You expect him to be yeah, but one see, of the better players. He's going for playing left back to playing right mid. Yeah, he's all over the If you don't know football, like, I mean, that might sound all right, but... But he's the first to tell player. Like, he's, he's the guy, he is, he's the guy but... that you expect to be able to do that. No, I think he did do well, though. I don't but not, every, not every game, like... Yeah, I think he did all right, though. Look, I don't think it was bad for him. No, I'll, I'll give Sterling, I think that's probably a six is fair, actually, why not? Yeah. Uh, McMenamin, I thought played all right, by the way. Former Glenn Torrin. Yeah, man. former Glenn Torrin, man, 75k, he cost uh, St. I'm Mirren. I think he was 150k, no? No, no, 75. I plucked the fake number earlier on the start in 11 yeah, fits. definitely yeah. wasn't 150k, like, definitely not. 75k, I mean, he was all right down the wing, he was, he was lively, you know, he was creating, he was giving St. Mirren an out down that right-hand side. I'll give McMenamin a six. I thought he'd done no bad today. I was, yeah, I I'll give him a six. I, I thought, thought he was all right. Done all right. Uh, Silva got checked in the box. He wanted three yards to check for apparently. Didn't they happen? Didn't they get it? Then he got subbed off pretty early for McCausland. Uh, it wasn't a great performance with Silva. Uh, I think we hold Silva in a higher, home in a higher regard. I think purely just because of that 35, 40 million euro price tag that he once came with. I'm going to give him a one. I fuck, <laughs> no, he's like playing with a fucking man dying, man. He made a good run, but ev- everything else he does is fucking diving. Yeah, so. I, I was going to give him a four, so that's, no. a, that's a 2.5 then for uh No, for he's, he's only playing because it will be in the contract for the loan that he has to play X, man, y, X Y, Z, my game. X, Y, and C. Anyway, right, uh, Greg no, Kilty. C, said. G- Greg Kilty. I, I rate Greg Kelty. Thought he was quiet today. I like it quiet. Not as quiet as Greg Kelty liked it, though. Now you've already used that line. I know. I'm going to give him a four. Uh, well, is that because the line was shite? He <laughs> deserves one less than O'Hara? That's pretty much it. So if you use that next, if you use that line again, is somebody getting a free? Dessers. Uh, I'm going to give Craig Kelty a four as well. Get Craig Kelty. <laughs> Kelty have been pissed, maybe. Right, uh, Dessers. You know what? Quality's not really there, but Dessers tries, right? For every ten shite things he does, he, he will show one good thing, so you've got to appreciate that. I appreciate got, that. I'll give Dessels a five. You know what? I thought he was all right. He got the goal. What do you want? He got the goal, brother. Uh, I, he basically got both goals. Like, he did, didn't he? Maybe a six. I'm going to give him a seven. I'll give him a six. With foot him, we'd probably get, we'd have beat one now. 6.5, right. Uh, Osolani. Or Osolana. Five, I just don't really like Five across the yep. board. McCausland came on, I thought he was poor. I'm going to give him a three. Now, Michael point. O'Neill was there, I wonder what he thought of him. I thought he was shite, so... Yeah, I'll give him a... I'll give I mean, him he near gave away a penalty, like... I'll give him a four, so it's a 3.5 for me. Uh, Jameson? Lewis Jameson, football manager, Airdrie career mode legend from last year, but uh, not quite a legend today. No. Someone no, no. said next season he'll be working in Linwood McDonald's, because that's how fucking piss he is. So, whatever, um, I'm, I'm going to give him a four. I thought he was quite poor at subs. Yeah, I did do him. I'll give him a four as well. Uh, Tom Lawrence, I think he's shite. And yeah. when he came to the Rangers, I actually I actually really rated this guy. 
Yeah. I believe I said a couple of months ago he's Rangers' best midfielder. Can I take it back? I take it. Can he fucking back. pish? Yeah. It's like when I said this, was better than Kyogo, and I, I, I'm going to give Tom Lawrence a free. Hey, what? Dessers can't be far off. Kyogo in terms of goals. He's got more than one? Oh, there you go. Uh, I'm going to give Lawrence a free as well. Really poor. Uh, Scott. I, I don't like it when someone has a a, surn- a post name for a surname. So I couldn't even tell you who this guy is. I'm not going to fucking bend the knee to pretend I know who Scott is. So, I'm giving uh, him a free. I'll give him a free. I didn't even know the guy existed, so it's a free guy. doesn't seem like it could be any more than that. Scott, right? Um, Scott shite, I mean. Shouldn't yeah. exist, probably. Look at the free subs Rangers are bringing on. Nah, well, look at them. What are you making them? Pish, fucking, I'm going to give him a two. What did he do? I'll give him a, I'll give him a 2.5, because why the hell not? It is five minutes past six, by the way, guys. Kyle Back is up next. I'm going to give him... Check of the deadline. Five. Five. I, I like Bacchus. I'm, I'm surprised he doesn't start anymore. Or maybe it was a fitness issue today. Maybe it was a fitness issue. I'm not a St. Mirren fan. Um, I mean, I'll give him a five. Right, and then Brown. Not, not Brown, Brown down. Brown. I'll, I'll give him a five. five I'll five. give him a five. I don't know. But Bacchus and Brown didn't have enough time, I think, to influence But see game. if you look, right? The subs for Rangers are having a massive effect because the ratings are fucking so much worse than the players against subbed up. Puffy Silva. You know what I mean? Nah, that's a problem. You need to be bringing on players to improve your team. Not that is a worse. problem, right? Uh, let's move on to the managers. Robinson. What will I give Steven Robinson? Kept his team in the game. They, they looked like they could get some right up until the final kick of the ball. Uh, I thought they were the. Oh, I thought they were marginally the better side as well. I'll give Steven Robinson a six, despite him not winning. It was a good display. I'll give him a six as well. It's not really his fault, is it? No, I mean both goals were just a bit yeah, shite. And, and and Clement, um, again another really poor Rangers performance. It's not like they bounced back here after the games against Dundee and Ross County. Can't say well, you know, Clement lit a fire in them, and they came out today showing us what they can do. What they showed us was not a lot, and if it wasn't for um two. Let's be honest, two lucky goals, then they would not have won the day. And Jack Butland. And, and Jack Butland. I mean, Clement made, made substitutions, but for me, all that did was make Rangers worse. Uh, I don't How think... can Rangers win the league? No, it, Celtic are bad, right? Yes, they are. But look at that Rangers team and look who we're bringing on, man. Rangers are going to get blown away at Celtic Park. I'm getting that, a... Celtic will get up for that game. I'm giving them a five. Uh, yeah. Despite, despite being the winning manager, I expect more for the Rangers manager. Yeah, I'm going to give him a five. All right, guys, there you go. That's your ratings right there. Let us know what you thought down below. Really poor performance today for Angels. They got the win. Same went for Celtic, though. Poor performance. Were the inferior side in their game, and they got the win as well. So, you know, both teams for Glasgow doing what they have to do. But, you know, that's what it is. You, you expect them to do it in, in better fashion, and it, it just didn't happen there. So, aye, right, we will catch you guys in the next one. Till then, we've been Fall Football. Thanks for watching, and peace.